Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap. From your fr friends, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. From your friends at uh, Privateer FX. We're going to start with the uh, S&Ps and NASDAQ again today because these are the seem to be the only uh, markets that are really moving. You can see here we've had the one daily close under the 200 day, which everyone started getting bearish pushed down to 2550 in the last two days we closed above it we did have another push down on uh, this was early New York hours when uh, uh, China the tit-for-tat tariff talk with the US came back with 50 billion dollars worth of tariffs on things like soybeans and autos and and other other products but so the initial reaction for that was a sell-off in the stocks. And when, when I walked in in the morning, we were down about 1.5% in the S&P and 2% in the NASDAQ. Uh, Larry Kudlow, the economic advisor for Trump in the White House, uh, seemed to kind of backtrack a little bit about the tariffs and, and said that they were, um, you know, they would, they would think about it and discuss it. So now we've got the two sides. This is a perfect game theory. You have the two sides threatening. A lot of the analysts out there don't think there will be a trade war with China. And um, all this is doing is opening up uh, the next round of negotiations. So who knows where this ends up. It's a headline game. And, uh, you know, overall, I think it's, uh, it seems like just a bunch of nonsense and just tough talk. You can see here for the S&P, we retraced uh, to the third FIB at 26.50 today. Get the feeling we're going to get up into this kind of 26.80, 26.95 area near the 100-day, maybe up to 27, 27.10. Still like selling rallies. Um, again, this is a, a scalper's market. Uh, you know, having a strong opinion, I, I think, will hurt you. Uh, the NASDAQ took out that low overnight from two days ago we got very close on some charts I think it touched the 200 day not on uh, my trading view here but it got very close so the next obvious thing would be what swing are we looking at and to figure that out well we know what swing it is it's from the let me get my drawing tool it's from the all-time high remember the Nasdaq ended up making a higher after the February sell-off. And, you know, we're basing here just above the 200-day. We haven't been below there in 18 months or so. You know, this has scope to kind of this 66.50-55 area. The 100-day comes in at 66.38, so this would probably be a good place to fade it. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get up there in Asia or, uh, or early London. Uh, there's no real data coming out, but... Uh, we do have a Australian trade balance. Ten-year yields were higher today, unfortunately, because I'm long some bonds, some notes. Those bounced off that 270 level in the ten-year yield. We're back up to 280, so it's gone 10 ticks in the past two days. It's had a really hard time. These yields have had a, had a tough time going down, even with stock weakness, equity weakness. There doesn't seem to be any safe haven to bonds or notes. Um, Currencies relatively quiet. Um, dollar yen had a similar move to the stock move, where it sold off initially on the China tariff talk, and then had a, a pretty strong rebound. So we held this 106. This looks like a big big level right here, 106 a figure, which also happens to be the 200 hour moving average and rising. Um, so I'd say that's that's support. Um, you know, we have some people going home with long dollar yen positions overnight. Your stop's got to be under 106 and bigger. Um, we've retraced this recent little dip and closing above the three-quarter fib. So this looks increasingly bullish. However, we do have these old highs here at uh, this 107.30 level. There's supposed to be offers and some uh, some stops around 107 the figure. And then offers up to 30. So we'll leave some orders to sell 
dollar yen between 05 and 25. Um, looking to fade some of this dollar strength <clears throat> in dollar yen at least. Uh, the other currencies, uh, really things did not move much at all. I'll pop over to dollar CAD. That's continuing continuing its descent on more positive NAFTA talk. Um, Trump really wants to get the NAFTA deal done in the next couple of weeks, and we're hearing you know bits and pieces. The most recent thing was NAFTA negotiate U.S. NAFTA negotiators showing some flexibility on the issue of rules of origin for autos. So that's positive Canada and Mexico for that matter. Um, so again, this is Trump's style of talking tough and then. You know, maybe not doing much of anything and making very few changes to the to the NAFTA agreement that's been in place for years. Um, so we just showed you the, the dollar Canada and the uh, and the dollar yen charts. So here here's dollar CAD. We're taking out uh, some old lows. We took out yesterday's lows, closed below it. Um, next supports 126.85. So you know, 80 points lower than here. That brings me to the CAD yen chart, and there's a few technicians out there that um, really like it. We were kind of breaking out against this this old horizontal, uh, some high high up there. We got another one right here. We're right on that now. Um, CAD yen makes some sense. We think that uh, if we get a decent U.S. jobs number, maybe a strong wage and uh, average hourly earnings out of the U.S. bond yields. Would continue higher, maybe go retest those old highs, and uh, that would drag, that would push dollar yen up, and then with the positive CAD news coming out of NAFTA would would be good for the Canadian dollar, so, you know, it's kind of what we call the scissors trade, where you're, you're getting, you're getting uh, a little bit from each side, and, uh, you know, here's the first retracement, 84.76, 86.05. So the half fib of this whole move, and this has been a really strong down move, you know, mainly because of uh, the risk off with equities and the uh, and the uh, weakness in the Canadian dollar um, on the on the whole NAFTA situation. So if they come to a uh, a quick agreement, like Trump hopes, I think it's going to be a good. This could be a good trade. So this is kind of a more medium term trade. Maybe you know look to buy some. One month uh, top side, looking at you know the 86 handle would be a 250 point move over the next couple of weeks. Um, I, li I like that, and uh, it's looking pretty constructive on the charts. So that should do it again. Not much data coming out. Uh, just the uh, Australian trade balance, um, which can move Aussie, but uh, you know not expecting much out of the currencies. It's really just an equity game and uh you know if you're trading short term stick with the equities and stay out of the currencies for now and uh keep an eye on that cad yen all right good luck trading and we'll speak to you tomorrow all the best